After spending many weeks mining shooting stars in PvP worlds, I have now reached 2000 total level on my main. And according to many, the 2k total worlds is a gold mine to find loot. However, after running around for 10 hours in the 2k total worlds, I found nothing interesting. And that was until I started camping the Laren's chest. He's panicking? He's dead. This could be a lot. He opened 5 so far. Oh my god. 29. Like these people actually have so many keys on these worlds. Oh my god. Even though you can't sell Aaron's keys in the Grand Exchange, I've heard that you can sell the keys for 400 to 500k each. So that kill, 29 keys, is worth around 14 mil. 600k. People on the 2k total worlds came so rarely so I did spread out to the lower total worlds as well. Someone finally came and opened it! Good fight, Carpal Tuna. Good fight, and he got two more Larence keys. So that kill alone was eight hours of waiting on one account at the Larence chest. Ooh! 1.7 mil. After peaking that 1.7 mil, the guy I killed wrote a mean YouTube comment telling me he's in the military and that I need to respectfully eat a dick. So, Casey, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. If you want your 1.7 mil back, you can have it. But Casey, I can make it up to you. What if I show you one of the best games of all times? Raid Shadow Legends. Raids recently added a new faction called the Sylvan Watchers. You've got forest elves, you've got scary looking tree spirits, you even got living rock monsters. Rather than building a sprawling city on the ground or in a cave, the Sylvan Watchers made their home in the Mistwood, a huge jungle just east of Teleria. And to kick off the new year, there's a fresh raid update with a bunch of new features, including a new season of the Forge Pass for all your artificers, the Plarium Points program where you can earn in-game good including a legendary champion and more. And in preparation for Raid's 4th anniversary later this year, this month sees the launch of the humongous 4th anniversary Titan event. So don't miss out. But there is more. New players use my link or scan the QR code right here and get a free starter pack with this cool in-game loot. That includes the new champion, Jotun. Did you know that MMA and pro wrestler Ronda Rousey is now a champion in raids? You can get Ronda by simply opening raid on 7 days before February 20th, that's all there is to it. And to celebrate her arrival, you can use promo code RAIDRONDA to get a bunch of useful in-game items to help her level up. Just enter the promo code in-game and all the goodies will be sent straight to your inbox. Check the link in the description down below. Hello! Good fight, LL Spore! 14 Larence keys! Those 14 keys are worth 6 mil GP, thank you very much. Wait, who's this guy? What? 3 Larence keys? Oh, he dead. I got him. 10 Larence keys, oh my god. You don't need to do Slayer, just PK people at Larence chest. Makes it so much quicker to get these keys. Loot key, we get 599k. He says lol. Good fight, sir. Level 79 for 25 keys, holy shit. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Let's have a look here. 1750 total world. 1.2 mil. Thank you very much. After getting 2k total on my main account, I started getting total levels on all my accounts and I found a miner in a high risk world with a dragon pickaxe. So I had to go for it. <laughs> yep, that's a free dragon pickaxe. 7 mil. Oh, it's actually worth a lot. The thing is, I've been mining these stars for three weeks straight, and this is the first dragon pickaxe I've seen in high risk worlds. <laughs> Dead! I got him! I got him! I anti pked him! Oh my god! Someone actually came! How much do we make? 4 mil. No way, I missed out on this. Someone got a Dagon High Top. We found someone in the 1500 total world. 10 beautiful. 
Lanches. As of right now, I've been camping Lanches for 14 days and we have gotten 81 Lanch Keys. You may think I'm finding these people so quickly, but I'm not. I'm finding like one person every five hours if I'm lucky. Someone's here while I'm mid eating. He's not surviving this. Good fight. I was mid. I was. Barraging in range gear 873k uh, Someone just got a dying high bro bottom and left and I was afk. This is the first PDK I've seen Did I just get chanced? <gasps> oh my How oh my god <laughs> This is this is it. I don't even know how much I lost. That's like the second PK I've seen at the Laren's chest. I upgraded my gear 10 minutes before dying. I just bought everything I lost back and I lost 185 mil. I'm so sad right now. And the only thing that can make me feel better is uh, if you like this video. I was running up another account to the Laren's chest and this pure was camping the lever. Did they bring his main? Good fighter, he brought his main and I'm out. Pled. After killing his pure, I decided to go for his main as well. Bad. I got him, I got his main as well. Good fight sir, good fight, he's gone. Two in one. It's just, it's a wonderful day. 15 mil. It's a wonderful day. The day cannot get any better. Someone just opened like 20 keys, so I ran my main over and I'm currently waiting. He's dead. Oh my, he opened so many keys. Good fight, man. So much loot, I believe. 2.8 mil and that kill you just witnessed was the last really good kill I got before wrapping up this entire Lance chest camping. We did get a few more kills but nothing worth showing so I got my 91 Lance keys here I collected. I had 10 more on my alt account and according to my calculations if I were to sell these keys for 400k each I would get a total of 36 million GP. But we're gonna open them and hopefully be lucky. The chance of obtaining any Dagonite piece is 1 in 85 and a specific Dagonite piece is 1 in 256. But just before we open the keys, I'll wait for you to press that subscribe button. Have you done it? No? Okay. How about now? Alright, perfect. Let's start. And there we have it. We got our first piece, Dagonite. <laughs> Rope top, very lucky, 3.7 mil. Oh, there we have it, another piece, another Dagonite top. That's two pieces, we're, we're actually getting lucky here. Oh, another piece, a Dagonite hat. That's the, the cheapest one of the items. Last two keys, diamonds, and more diamonds. This, this brings the total value to 22 mil from 91 Laren's keys. And the loot from all the keys and everyone we PK'd, we get a total of 34.6 mil. So we are down 150 mil, because I died once making this video. Great. How does Swedish people celebrate Swedish Christmas? It all begins on December 23rd at 8 p.m. with four hours of gambling. We call this day Uppesittarkväll and that translates to sit down evening. Gambling the day before Christmas has been a Swedish tradition since 1995 and 25% of the Swedish population was watching the show live last year. 
After four hours of gambling, the actual Christmas starts the 24th of December with everyone watching Donald Duck on TV. Watching Donald Duck on Christmas has been a Swedish tradition for the last 60 years. And last year, it was around 40% of the Swedish population who was watching this live. Finally, we have the Swedish Christmas food. Every year, we eat Prince sausage, meatballs, boiled potatoes, Christmas ham, and raw salmon. Some even eat fermented Baltic herring, but we normally avoid it. And for the drinks, we have Swedish Julmust. It is a soft drink, pretty similar to Coke Pepsi, I'd say, but much better. And it's only being sold in the end of the year. And for those of you wondering about the Christmas goat, it actually survived the year of 2022. Sad scam game.